referred pain okay in this video we'll learn about referred pain remember always pain can arise either from the somatic structure like a skin or muscles or otherwise from the visceral organs okay so pain can either start in the skin or it can be start in the visceral organs but whenever a pain is perceived in the somatic structure due to visceral injury you call it as referred pain meaning see the injury is to the visceral organs but the patient feels the pain in the skin that is called referred pain meaning the pain from the visceral organ is referred to skin that's why we call it as referred pain most classical example is here when a, when a patient is suffering from acute myocardial infarction the patient usually complains of pain in the inner aspect of the left arm initially so he'll not have a pain in the chest area patient will initially complain of pain in the inner aspect of the left arm so for example another example would be acute cholecystitis where the patient will complain of pain in the right shoulder because so whenever the acute cholecystitis meaning inflammation of the gall bladder so the gall bladder irritates the right side of the diaphragm you know diaphragm are the nerve supply is so from the phrenic nerve which is arising from the cervical segment so usually so the pain will be referred to the tip of the right shoulder there's another term called as radiating pain which should not confuse with the referred pain so radiating pain meaning the site of origin of the pain also pains it means for example you take in acute mi what is happening in referred pain we tell initially pain is felt in the inner aspect of the left arm maybe after few minutes patient will complain of pain in the chest area but if the same example if i have to give for radiating pain it will be like patient will feel the chest pain he will be complaining of chest pain at the same time pain is also felt in the inner aspect of the left arm meaning the pain in the chest area is radiated to the arm so the site of origin also will be paining at the same time it will be it will be like other areas also will be involved so it is radiating radiating from the site of origin to the other areas that is what is called a radiating pain that is the difference between a referred pain and radiating pain